Welcome back to the greenhouse, boys and girls. Apparently my my phone is being a little bitch and didn't actually record the previous video I just made. So I'm going to make it again. So as I was saying in the previous video, a little later today I plan on making uh, videos making pendants. Um, mushroom pendants and implosion pendants and such. But first, before I can do that, I need stringers. Now, stringers are when you take color and you pull it out into thin rods, which you can work with to make dot stacks you can use to draw with, or if they're made thicker, they can be used to push uh, mushrooms, to make mushroom pendants, which you'll see in a later video, or all kinds of nifty stuff. So we use a lot of stringers, and it's a very important skill for you to have the ability to make stringers. It's actually really easy, and you'd probably stumble on this on your own, but I feel like an instructional video is in order nonetheless. So when I pull stringers, I use little pieces of 3 mil rod to pull them with, and it helps generally clean up the end of these rods before we use them. Make sure they're nice and rounded off. So I'm going to pull, uh, let's say, three stringers for the sake of this video since I actually pulled about as many stringers as I needed in the last video that didn't record right. So I don't really need to make a whole lot more. So there, nice and round. So let's see, what colors do I still need? I still need slime. Slime is a good color. I use this a lot. It's a nice striking green and it strikes in a really weird way. It makes it go from foggy to transparent to foggy again. So we take our color rod and we heat up a nice blob on the end of it. The size of the blob determines the size of the stringer. So I only need to make them so big for the sake of what I'm doing today. While we're doing that, we heat up the end of our pulling rod too. We don't want to actually get that, you know, hot enough to flow or anything like that, but we definitely want it to stay hot enough to stick. So these stringers I'm going to pull, the stringer I'm going to pull right now isn't really going to be very long because it doesn't need to be. So we take the rod and we stick it to the end of the blob. In this case, we're going to slowly stretch until we get to the desired thickness. Let it cool off a little bit. Pull just a little more to make it more even. So this is an appropriate stringer for making a mushroom pendant. That's what I'm doing with this. So it needs to be thicker. Also it could be dot stacks or you know, lots of other things. But in this case, it's a mushroom pendant. However, lots of times we want longer and thinner stringers. Like in the case, I need a longer and thinner stringer of Illuminati here. So this is accomplished by pulling faster. So again, we heat up our blob. And I kind of want to pull the end off of this Illuminati because it's very jagged and jagged ends tend to boil and create bubbles and just generally look ugly. So we're going to take that off first. And like 
like I said, we warm the we warm the end of the rod we're going to pull with. While we are warming up the little blob of glass we're going to pull from. It doesn't really matter if it flops around or isn't a isn't a very clean blob because that actually gets cleaned up as we're pulling it. So then we take it again stick the stick into the blob, and in this case we pull faster. But we slow down to try and get it to even out. So now we have a nice, even, even thickness stringer. I'm gonna do one more of this Illuminati just so that you can watch me do it again. I'll probably have a use for those later. Well, I'll definitely have a use for them at some point. So again, we take the warmed up stick, pulling stick, and we stick it to the blob, and then we pull until we get to the desired thickness. Then we slow down a little, let the thinner parts cool off. The thicker parts will still be warmer, so they will still stretch until the whole thing cools off and is a uniform width, roughly. It's actually not entirely uniform, but close enough for government work. And there we have our stringer. Really easy, really important skill to learn. Practice with clear, it'll save you a lot of money. Because if you screw it up in color, this Illuminati is what, like six bucks a stick, seven bucks a stick, that can add up quick. So start with clear. There you go. Now that's a thing you know.